Good morning, sixth graders. I was just going to give you a little bit of a video to help you guys with the digital uh, metrics challenge that I assigned yesterday. Um, there was some questions about um, how to kind of navigate the format. So if you go to yesterday's assignment on Google Classroom, so 10, 7, that's yesterday. Um, I'm going to open this up. <clears throat> It will make a copy for you. You have to make sure that you are actually, you open it in slides. So slides is open. You can see the slides over on the left hand side with the big slide right in front of you. Okay. So first off, put your name there. Okay. This second slide just says that in some of the slides, you're going to be typing your answer and some you're going to have to drag things around. Okay. You are going to see some, um, some terms that you have not yet, um, we've not yet talked about, but that's okay because you can use the process of elimination, use what you know, you know, to, to be able to fill these in. All right, just do the best you can with that. And if you need to use Google to figure out like what exactly, how does a nanometer or a micrometer or a megameter, how does that compare to the ones that you already do know? Okay, so you're just grabbing these things and pulling them up there. Now that's not going to work unless this is opened in slides. Okay, so make sure that it's open in slides. This one is the same. Here, um, you are just looking at what it is they're measuring. So they're measuring in heights. That's a length measurement. And so you know the suffix is going to be meters. And then you've got to figure out um, what makes the most sense. Is a basketball hoop set three kilometers up no that would be a really big basketball hoop that we would never ever ever make the basket in okay so you got to see which one makes the most sense and then just drag that in here same thing with this pop can um this is volume so it's going to be in liters um how many um or what would 360 something liters look like you know you've got to You've got to look at your options up here and see which one makes the most sense. Um, same thing there, same thing there. Okay, with these ones, this is kind of where some people were having some difficulty. The given prefix, so this is what you know, the given is in green, the unknown is in red. So you don't even have to solve this equation. All you're doing is dragging these to, um, to the unit of measurement that they are talking about okay so milligrams we know that is smaller than a centigram so that would be right here and then your unknown is kg so that would be kilograms and you would pull that one right over here okay put that one back um let's see down here there's a few different things that you're doing First, you're going to pull these up with the given and the unknown. Okay, so this would be centigrams. You're going to pull this up to centigrams. You're going to pull this unknown up to the K kilograms. And then you are going to tell me how many spaces and in which direction do you have to move the decimal. Okay, so if we're going from centigrams to kilograms, you are going one, two, three, four, five places to the left. So I would type five here and I would drag this arrow right here and then I can also click right here and solve the conversion. All right. Mm, let's see down here. These are just more conversions. And again, you are just moving the decimal to the left and to the right. And I think that's about it. Okay, so just do what you can on here. Um, if you're really confused about a slide, that's okay. Just leave it and move on. Um, and hopefully I will see you soon. Um, if you have not yet been assessed on this, um, on this standard and I only see you maybe once next week, you might get put into my win time on Monday Tuesday or Wednesday, just so we can wrap up that one standard before we move on to our study of molecules. Have a good day.